Well, it's May 27th. It's about uh, 10.45 a.m. Heading back to the apiary. We're going to check on things. Make sure that the four hives that I've got running are doing well. I'm not quite sure how they're doing. So I'm going to check on them. Got bees coming out of three. Bees coming in and out of four. Oh, there we go. Something came out of two. And number one is running strong. So, I brought some newspaper with me because I think I'm going to have to uh, merge two of these. Um, the one that I had back in the back, number seven back there, that was the one that I picked up that I thought was poisoned. I ended up taking the few survivors after a week. Uh, there was maybe a hundred, two hundred, a couple of hundred survivors and I brought them over and I merged them with four and they seem to have been doing well so right now I'm going to go into all the hives and I'm going to see how we're doing so I'm into hive one and I'm taking a look at it and I'm not quite sure what I'm seeing yet let's see here I'm going to pull this one out they haven't drawn any more comb as you can see, there's honey up there on the top. It's already capped. And they've got honey and pollen right up underneath of it, right there. That's one side. Let's take a look at the other side. And got a lot of pollen that looks like it's already been filled in and it's been taken back off. Um, looks like we got a queen cell right there. Just gently blow on them, they get. Hasn't been capped. I don't see any eggs though, which is kind of worrying me. I'm thinking that I might have to put a couple of them together. Let's take a look at the next one. These two are really stuck together. It's been it's been a little while since I've been in here. So let's see what we've got going on. Excuse me, girls. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, right. This one's nice and heavy. Again, I don't see any eggs. I think I might have to go buy some queens. But I would rather have one good hive oh. and a bunch of failing ones all kinds of honey burr comb like crazy coming out where they're building on top of it I guess they had a little extra room I don't see a queen Let's see where the honey's dripping I don't see any queen I don't see any eggs so I think, um, and they've stopped building. They've stayed right on the three combs, and that's it. Yeah. No eggs. All right. So I'm either going to combine two separate hives and make one stronger one, provided I can find one that has a queen, or I'm going to order a new queen. This is hive number four. There is definitely sign of life in here. We have a queen somewhere. I've got lots and lots of sealed brood all over the place. I'm wondering if I should just take one of these and stick it in the other one and let them make a queen of it. A lot of the brood, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can see inside. They're a little larger. Um, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be, but I can see a lot of sealed brood. There's going to be a baby explosion in here very soon, and there's other ones that are following suit. Let's spin this around. I don't see any eggs at the moment, but 
Yeah, they're getting ready to explode here. Big old drone. Let's take a look at the next one. So because they're doing so well, I think it might be just a good idea for me to take a frame. Let's see if there's any small ones. There's some smaller babies in here. This might be the one to take. I don't see eggs per se, but I do see lots of babies, which means there is a queen floating around in here somewhere. Nothing on that side but honey. But there are babies. Small little larvae are in there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to take a frame from here and I'm going to stick it in the other one. Make sure that the queen's not on it because I'm going to brush everything off. This is all honey here. Yeah, they haven't even finished drawing this out. I hate to take it from them so early, but I need to get the other one going. And while I can order some queens, I just soon do everything myself. Um, I still might end up ordering some queens. I've got a guy just south of here that does a really good job making queens. I bought one from him last year. Mm. They're a little upset, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shake a bunch of these off, and then I'm going to put a frame on the other side. All right, so we've taken a frame, number four, and we put it over here, number one. Now, this frame has got brood in it, and it's not a full one. I just took one that's about half full. Um, it had some babies of the right age in it. I found some in there, so number four gets to keep their large ones. Um, there's two full frames of larva and capped cells, so I know there's going to be plenty of brood coming out soon. So I took one of the ones that were on the outside edge, and I put it over into number one, because number one does not have a queen. There's no eggs, so I'm going to let them take some of the ones that we've got here, let them make a queen cell, and then they'll be able to make their own queen, and everything will be good. Now, I wish I could have filmed me taking it, but I'm doing this by myself. Now I'm getting ready to check number two and number three. So hive number two is not doing too well. But hive number three is doing extremely well. Classic pattern of brood and honey and pollen and very upset bees at the moment. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take all the frames out of number two because there's obviously... Nothing going on in here. They don't have a queen. And I'm just going to transfer everything over. And I'm going to merge these two hives because it is believed that they both swarmed from the same hive. But it looks like one did better than the other one. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing going on in there. There's no eggs at the moment. Well, there are some eggs, but... It's, I don't think they're a queen. I can't spot a queen. These things have been around longer. Number two hive has been around longer than number three hive. And they've only got a few cells that have been anything's happened with. I think I might have a laying queen in there. I hate to think that, but the pattern is very irregular. And I'm not quite sure what I should do. Um, I've read that I should take this out somewhere and drop them all off because if I do have a laying queen, then then she is a she won't find it back. She's a nurse. She's a nurse worker, and she won't find them back. And look at that. I've got a I've got a beetle that these little guys are trying to get small high beetle so just crushed it so they don't have to worry about that one anymore so 
I think I'm going to take that recommendation. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take. I'm going to take all these out because even if these hatch, I mean they're just drone, so that's okay. That's not a problem. Better to have a bunch of drone to help out future queens, I guess, than it is to than it is to have a laying worker. So I'm going to take this over to the far side of my property over here. I only have an acre, but it suits me well. So we're going to take these bees. Now all the flyers, all the foragers, they'll know how to get their way back, but unfortunately the rest of these will not. Let's put them over here by the bamboo. So just going to dump them right here. <coughs> The queens will find, <laughs> foragers will find their way back, and the laying queen will be stuck right there. She'll stay there. She won't know how to get back. See, they're all down in the grass right now. So I may be losing some nurses, but that's okay. I'm going to be getting... I'm going to take these frames and put them together and I'm just going to combine the two hives and everything should be good from that point on. So I have caught five swarms so far this year, five swarms and it came up to having only four hives and now it looks like I'm only going to have three hives. Now I suppose I should take these girls over and dump them too. Let me see, do I see any babies over here? Just a couple. So I'm going to take a chance. I know there's going to be some people out there that are going to say I'm an idiot, but you know I am still new at this and I'm just doing the best I can and learning. So I'm going to merge these two together and once the bees from the bottom work their way through up to the bees to the top, then everybody should be happy and I'm hoping that the queen, the, uh, the worker that's laying, if she's still in the box, I'm hoping that the queen will take care of her. So I'm going to close this up, close all these boxes up and... Um, as I said, I'm still new to this. I'm learning, I'm reading everything I can. Everybody else out there that's just starting, they should do the same thing. Um, so, from Burnley Farm Apiary, this is Thurman. Take care.